what's the benefit of say doing a startup from your home like digital digital nomads just kind of like you know everywhere scattering and managing that team i think the term is fluid model where okay. you just have a sm very small core team of people everybody else works remotely from all over the world and you manage things remotely okay pros and cons and you know what the pros and cons are going to be communication is going to be much more difficult you're going to spend more time dealing with project management because you got to get the assets out to everybody and not everybody's working with the same version of software and not everything's synced up so you have to figure out some way to manage that and what are some of the tools that people use to manage teams across the globe they might use Trello, they might use Basecamp or Slack. There's a bunch of project management software that's out there that can help you do that. The benefits are you get to work with anybody. It's a higher quality of life for those artists because they get to work from home and do whatever they need to do as long as they do the work. Right. You'll most likely pay less because you can work with whoever you want, wherever. And so you got to look at in the US or the UK, maybe the, the pound or the dollar is quite high. Relatively speaking, cost of living is quite high. And so there are a lot of people in Brazil, amazing artists and animators. Uh, India would be another place. So you can leverage what the local economy is and the cost of living with the quality of the artists. Now, generally speaking, the best artists do go to the biggest markets. So they're gonna come to San Francisco, LA, New York, the UK, you know, probably London, right. wherever the big effect shops are. That's where they'll migrate, okay? So you probably will not be getting the same quality of artists that you're used to seeing here. So more management.